I want to show you how to mock up your graphics in t-shirt and apparel mock-up templates for Corel Draw. And you'll see I have one of the templates open here. And I also have my layers visible. And the first thing I want to do is let's lock our shading layers. And what the shading layers are, they are the layers that provide the highlights and shadows for the shape of the t-shirt. Now, when you're trying to select things, these kind of get in the way. So let's go ahead and just temporarily lock those layers. And now if we go to select our graphic, we can just click on it and we'll be able to move it around. But I wanna mock up a different graphic than this. So let's go into a logo template here and I'm just gonna copy that. Let's go back into the t-shirt template and let's turn off the visibility of that example graphic and paste our new graphic into the same layer. And we could just scale it and position it accordingly. And the next thing I wanna do is let's change the color of the t-shirt fabric. So let's go down here to the color layer, highlight that curve, and let's assign it, say, a blue color. Now, if you notice the t-shirt, the shadows aren't quite as dark as maybe they should be. So let's go up here and unlock our shading layers. And let's also turn on the visibility of this top extra shading layer. We'll also turn on the visibility of the print and export so that shows up if we print it or export it. But now that I've got that turned on, if I toggle it, you'll see how maybe that's a little bit too dark. So what we wanna do is let's select that bitmap and go to our transparency tool and we can turn the visibility down just partially and that's starting to look good but let's say i wanted to make a black shirt so if we go down here to our color layer again and assign it a black everything disappears all the highlights and all the shadows disappear so what i want to do is instead of a pure black i'll assign it just a dark gray and we'll go back up to this extra shading layer here at the top and I'll select that and then go back to the transparency tool and just turn that opacity all the way up so our, our shadows are really dark. What I wanna do now is let's go to our graphic and select that and I'll turn this to like a light gray. And let's say we wanna mock up a sleeve graphic. So let's go to another graphic here, select all and go Command C and I'll go back to the main template and let's go ahead and paste this into the same layer as the other graphics. And I'll also assign this a light gray and we wanna scale this down. And with these sleeve graphics, you wanna rotate them so the vertical axis is parallel with the angle of the sleeve. That's just gonna make it look like it's printed correctly at the right angle on the shirt. So the thing is, this graphic is going off the edge of the shirt and what we need to do is clip it out. So we have a clipping path built into the template here. So let's just turn the visibility of that on and it's a path with no filler strokes. So you're not gonna see it, but what we wanna do is let's go back up to our shading layers lock those so those don't interfere. And if we select that sleeve graphic, we can go to object, power clip, place inside frame. And then you'll have this little curved arrow tool and you're just gonna click on that clipping path. And you'll see how our sleeve graphic is now clipped out. And we could even do the same thing with this neck label graphic. So if I select that, we can go to object, power clip, extract contents and that takes the graphic out of that clipping mask and let's just select that bitmap and delete it and we can reuse that graphic that we just used and I'll scale it down and I'll turn it to gray and then if we just drag it over that power clip area it'll automatically clip itself out and then I can just position it into the right place. So let's zoom out here. This is starting to look good. Um, there's a couple other things I haven't shown you yet. There is also a pocket layer. 
So we could turn the visibility of that on. And we can also select a curve in that pocket layer. Let's say we want, wanted a blue pocket, that's how it would look. But I don't want a pocket in this design, so let's just turn the visibility of that off. The other thing we can do is change the background color. So if we go here to background color, highlight that curve, and we could just assign it, say a blue. Maybe that's a little bright, so let's do like a gray. And there's also a drop shadow. If we go into that layer, select that bitmap, and go to our transparency tool, we can adjust the transparency up or down to make that drop shadow lighter or darker. So that's how to mock up your t-shirts in CorelDRAW.